Hello. I don't normally do videos before games, but I felt so incensed that I thought I had to. Why am I so incensed? Well, for a start, our entire bat line has changed pretty much, uh, with the exception of Bradley and Williams and Toll. Uh, Johnson's out of the team and Emerson's out of the team. Uh, they didn't have particularly good games against Derby, but, but, and there's a big but, uh, they, they should have give, been given the opportunity to put things right. Before Derby, we played really well with M3, Toll, uh, Emerson, and uh, Johnson at the back. Um, so, of course, he's, he's trying to put Santos in the side, I get that, but he's also putting Jones in the side. He's not been that great recently. Uh, on top of that, um, I noticed that uh, Big Dan isn't available, he's injured, which I read he might be. But, as usual, in what looks to be in the number 10 role, or he could be playing right up front, is a one goal of the season striker, stroke, useless player, uh, Kachunga. Yep, Kachunga is in the team. Uh, couldn't score in a brothel, um, and he couldn't hit a barn door. But he's in the team. Let's be honest, the only the, the person who should be in the team in a striking role, who scored 20 in the season, as I said the other night, was uh, sadly. But no, he's on the bench because he just plays as a wing back. Honestly, the brains that this idiot in charge has got, I have no idea. He's an absolute moron. He thinks he's Pep Guardiola, and the fact is, he's not. He's shit. Absolute shit. So, um, that's my bit of a whinge. Um, hopefully the game goes well, but it won't be surprising if Bakayoko is either in the team or comes on and scores a hatful, and then we'll be thinking, oh, well, we know which striker we should have let go and which one we haven't. Well, that be typical. But I guess we'll see. This video might be completely null and void by the end. We might have scored five. Because Jung's got a hat trick. But then that'd be asking for the seventh wonder of the world. Bye for now. Right, so this is a reaction video to the game. I uh, wasn't impressed with the team when I saw it um, tonight um, before the game. As you can tell by the earlier video. Uh, and there was Starman really did fuck up tonight. Uh, when you are booed off by your own fans, I think it says something about how bad they've played or how poor they've been. Uh, and everything that I thought about him just came to pass, really. For a start. Uh, well, so let's talk about the game. Jane Charles scored. After about like five minutes volley, and well, we thought it was just the floodgates, and it just went flat. I mean, they had a hundred and what hundred and nineteen fans or something in the ground, and we had sixteen thousand in, which was a surprise because it didn't look that full. But after that, nothing really happened. We didn't really do very much, and it sort of went flat until Dean Charles got sent off. Now, everybody in the stands knew within five minutes that he shouldn't have been set off because it was all over Facebook and over Twitter and on official Bunk Wonders pages that actually Kachunga was the player who should have been sent off if anybody else should go. He punched the player. By half time, pretty much everybody and around us, everybody had seen what had happened because we've all seen it on the video. Kachunga should have been sent off. That player is a liability. He tries backing players, and that's it. He was playing up front tonight, and at no point in time did he look like he had anything to offer up front. Yeah, he can back into players well, and he might do occasional one-touch passing, but he didn't offer anything. As a striker, he's shocking. Absolute shocking. Uh, Shaw Tyre uh, showed some good touches, some far better uh, passing than Kachunga is capable of. So, what does Kachunga offer? Nothing at all. He's probably one of our biggest earners, and 
They want to fucking laugh, to be honest. He should never play for our fucking club again. Tonight, he could have cost us the fucking game. I don't like him to start with. And tonight just emphasises what a dog turd of a player he is. As for the other changes, do you know what? We played alright in defence. There were some hairy moments. But when it's 10 against 11 for, what, 60 minutes at least like tonight, uh, tonight? Probably more than that, actually. It was like 65, 70, I don't know. I can't even remember what time Charles got sent off. But it was always going to be hairy at the back. Although they didn't have that many chances. So we did something right. Uh, it was a bit worrying that we played so deep in that second half. Our only real outlet was Dempsey or Conor Bradley. Conor kind of Bradley running off into the ground in the last 10 minutes. I mean, Jesus. He was, he was the most likely to score for us. Um, but it was a bit worrying that we didn't try and keep the ball more. And it was just defence against attack. Luckily, the defence won. Um, it was a terrific game. The referee was a complete twat and a wanker. I mean, they sent their own fucking player off. How does that happen? These are supposed to be professional referees and they sent their own fucking player off. Luckily, I'm assuming Bolton will go to an appeal, get um, Charles's red card rescinded, and that cunt, Kajunga, can go and get banned for three games. And hopefully, he never sees the light of day again in the Bolton shirt. He's not good enough. Um... He's got one goal this season, I think he only scored about four or five last season. Absolutely shocking. Should never play in the Bolton shirt again. I know Everett wants him to have his love child, but seriously, never let that tosser, useless piece of shit ever play for us again. But at least we won. So there is something to be happy about. Bye for now.